Hello everyone, this is Marisol again and today's video I'm gonna make a tutorial about how to configure a network access protection. So without further ado, let's get started. Alright, first is we need to install network policy and access service. Then the next thing is to configure static IP on second interface. We're logging into plabdm01, where you're gonna configure the static IP on second interface. Let's go ahead and launch Parcel as administrator. Alright, for time sake, I've already entered the next message command to add a second Ethernet adapter with a point to IP address. I'll go ahead and execute. Okay, so with this command, you don't need a success on the command. In order to verify, we're gonna do IP configure. We see sent a text error there. So click OK. Let's scroll up to find Ethernet 2 to verify our dot two IP address. Next task is to install the HCP and network policy access service in PubGM01. So we're scaling command prompt here and we'll go ahead and lock up the tools. Alright, so the HCP is now installed in the server. Next, we'll install network policy and access service. So the command here for this add Windows features np as comma thus policy servers space include manager tools we see syntax error here when we enter the command all right and ps is installed let's go ahead and execute all this And let's verify that the HCP is now installed as well as network policy server. In this step, we're gonna configure our HCP server and we're gonna create an address form. So we're in server manager, let's go into tools and click on the HCP. Let's right click on the HCP and select manage authorized server. Let's go ahead and click authorized and we'll leave the following IP address in. So the HCP has identified it has plop dm one and we'll go ahead and click OK. Let's select Plop DM01 again and, and click OK. Just click OK on this. It's just saying that the server has already added to the HCP. So let's expand Plop DM01. Then expand IPv4. Right now, let's click IPv4 and select New Scope. Next, we are gonna name this scope lab dm scope one click next and we'll enter the ip address for range and we'll go ahead and click next so the range here is gonna be 192.166.1.100 up to 120 so we have 120 ip address here we are not adding any execution right now so i'll go ahead and click next And we'll stay with the 8 days default days duration. We'll click next. And for the configuration of the DHCP option, yes, I want to configure this option now. We'll click next. We keep the default on the router default K-Way setup page. And ne click next. So on the domain name and the DNS servers, page everything's fine we'll keep the defaults as for this as practicelist.com and 192.168.0.1 address just click next 
And uh, when your birth age, we're gonna leave everything as default. Click next. Let's scope right now. Let's go ahead and click next and finish. So in our next task, we're gonna configure the HCV for NAP enforcement. Let's select IPv4 right now. Just click it. Go down to properties. Then click on binding. Let's clear your dot tool. Click OK. Next, we'll click the Network Access Protection tab. Then select the Enable All Scoops button. Now we're gonna get a warning about overriding the settings. We'll go ahead and click Yes. And we'll click OK out of the IPv4 properties. We're gonna expand the scope for 192.168.1.0 node. We're gonna right click this scope and go to its properties. Let's click the Network Access Protection tab. So we're just verifying that enable for this scope and use the default Network Access Protection profile we selected. Well, go ahead and click OK. And we're all set. We could close out of this DHCP. So now we're gonna enable NAP enforcement on the DHCP server that we installed earlier. We're still working on PLAB DM01. We're in Server Manager. Let's go Tools, the Network Policy Server. And let's go Expand Network Access Protection. Then System Health Validators. Then Windows Security Health Validators. And click on Settings. Let's go to Default Configuration. Right now, click it and go to the Properties. We're gonna go ahead and click all these settings. Here, we're gonna leave Firewall Enable for all connection, by the way. And then click OK. Let's right click on Remediation Server Group and click New. Let's name this group RIM SRV. And let's click Add. Friendly name is gonna be RIM SRV. And IP address, this is gonna be 182.168.1.2. Let's go ahead and click Resolve. It has Resolve. Let's click OK and OK. So we're back in the NPS server. Let's go ahead and expand policies. Let's click on Health Policies right now. Click New. So we're gonna create two policy and four compliance and another for non-compliance policies. The first one will start up with this compliant policies and select the Windows Security Health Validators check back and click OK. We'll go back to the health policies right now. Click New and this one we're gonna call non-compliant policy. On the drop down, we'll select client all SHV check and select Windows Security Health Validators field box and click OK. So we now have two policies compliant and non-compliant. And now let's gonna create a NAP compliant policy. So we are gonna work policies right now. Click new. We call this one the HCP compliant. The server drop down we will select the HCP server, then click next. On the specify condition page, we're gonna click add. We're gonna scroll down and lock for network access protection. So the selection here we're gonna be the location groups because it explaining that the DHCP protocols works between NPS so I'll go ahead and add it. Next, we're gonna add the health policies. And on our drop down, we'll select compliant and click OK. Back at the specifies condition page, we're gonna click on add. We're gonna select NAP capable computers and click on add. And select the option for only computers that are NAP capable. 
then click OK. So we now have a HIP policy and NAP capable policy for our DHCP compliant computers. Let's go ahead and click on Next. This default access granted and click on Next information. On the configure authentication page, we're gonna clear MS Chop V2 and MS Chop, and let's select Reform Machine Health Check only and, and click Next. We're gonna keep the default on the Configure Constraints page and let's click Next. On the Configure Settings page, we will keep the default, then click Next and Finish. We now have a DHCP compliant policy. Next, we're gonna create a non-compliant network policy. So we select network policy right now, click new. And we name this one DHCP non-compliant. On the drop down, we're gonna select DHCP and click next. On a specify conditions page, we will click on add. Then scroll down to health policies, click on add. On the drop down, we will select non-compliant, then OK, then click add. And we're gonna add second condition, scroll, the, scroll down to not capable computers, click on add. Select only computers that are not capable, click OK. And we that have our two policies, let's go ahead and click next. Specify access permission access granted and click next. So we now have our DHCP non-compliant policy. So next we're gonna configure our Windows NP client. Just jump into that box. Let's open the NAP client configuration. Right now, click Select Run. Let's expand the Enforcement Client folder. Right now, let's click on the HCP Quarantine Enforcement Client. And select Enable. And we go ahead and close the NAP client configuration. Let's run services. Scroll down to network access protection. Right now click it and select properties. And we're gonna change the startup to automatic and click OK. And we will close out of this now. So now we're gonna verify that NAP client functionality. Right now, let's click on network icon on the system tray. Click on change adapter settings. Let's select Ethernet 2. Right now, let's click on it and choose status. On details, notice that the IPv4 DHCP server, that two server that we set up, and its IP address is 192.168.1.100 address, showing that it's successfully listing address from plebdm01. Let's go ahead and close this. And close this. Let's open up window firewall. Let's go ahead and turn the Windows firewall off. We just need to do it for the domain. Just click OK. And now it's off. And it got re-enabled policy to make the computer compliant. And now we're done. So that's it guys. How to configure a network access protection. So I hope it helps you and I hope you learn from this tutorial so again guys thank you for watching bye bye